What is going on guys, Kieran here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers The Last Night Voyager Class Grimlock. Now, I know I've said in many previous videos that I wasn't going to get the Dinobots, but I found them on sale, and I ended up getting Slash and uh, Slug and Grimlock. Probably going to get Strafe, because I may as well just fucking complete the set at this point, but here is a Grimlock. This figure is a straight-up repaint of the Age of Extinction version. If you remember, the Age of Extinction version was a nice bronze and silver sort of colour scheme. This guy is a lot more movie accurate. He's got some nice, really, really nice... Uh, silver and gunmetal grey paint apps. I really, really like this head sculpt. It's been done really nicely. You can see the, the red eyes in there. Very, very cool. Head still can open his mouth and shit like that. He has a little gimmick where he can press that and he can chomp. I do like this dino mode. I think he's just a little bit too hunchback. Other than that, dino mode is pretty good. It's not terrible. I honestly do think, though, that this Grimlock, for the Michael Bay sort of rendition of the character, he looks mean as shit in the movies. But I think the toy version, I don't know, it's just, it's oddly cute. I think it's just a little bit too cute for my liking. I want my Grimlock to look mean as shit. Obviously, being a straight-up repaint, he still comes with the uh, the mace that he had from Age of Extinction. Now, there is actually a way to store this in the vehicle mode, and it's so shit. I can't, <laughs> it's really bad. You just sort of, like, peg it on to his tail there, and wham, that is the weapon storage. Look at that, that looks really dumb. Don't do this. If you want to display it, just, just leave it off to the side. Just, just forget he's got it when he's in the dino mode. For a quick comparison, here he is next to Voyager Class Scorn, who is just better in every possible way. You can see Scorn is bigger, which is pretty accurate. He is scaled pretty well. That's about spot on. Transformation is exactly the same as before. There's no molded changes whatsoever. There are a couple of QC issues. These leg sections here do not have in as well as they did back on uh, my Age of Extinction version. I wish I had the Age of Extinction version with me to compare them. He has a couple of QC issues and just a couple of things that are just a kind of not quite as tight as I'd like them to be. First thing I'm going to do is fold up the arms and just make the arms here. Just rotate these around. They peg in just like that. There's his arms done. Now we're going to do is just lift those up a little bit. Take the T-Rex arms. Just sort of fold them down a little bit. And then these little panels will flip up. So I'm going to take the legs, unhook them from this section here, and just rotate them out. Then next thing I'm going to do is take this section, fold it down and try and get that into place as best you can. Take this back section here and just unhook this from his neck. And then what you're going to do is lift up the uh, the teeth there. I'm going to split him right at the mouth just there. Lift his ears up and uh, just sort of bring that through. Tap that in. Once that goes on there, they form his shoulder pads. This piece just sort of sits on his ass there. Take the feet here and just fold them out and how you want him, pose him how you want him, and there is Grimlock in his robot mode. Again, no molded changes in the robot mode. He looks exactly the same, barring these new paint apps, and I've got to say, he looks pretty friggin' cool. The only thing that really, really bugs me, like, it triggers me beyond belief, his head. Now, the rest of the figure has been painted so well. I mean, just look at it. It's really, really nice looking. He's got some nice silver parts on the teeth there. The head sculpt, though, in the robot mode, it's just lazy. I mean, it's got two blue painted eyes, and that's it. Some silver would not have gone amiss. That's, that really kind of sucks. Even the uh, the Age of Extinction version had a painted head sculpt, I believe. So that kind of bugs me, the fact that they didn't even bother to paint the head sculpt. But other than that, I think the robot mode stacks up. He looks very menacing. He looks like a very good representation of Grimlock from the movie. Now, as for the mace weapon, you can, of course... Let him hold it like that, but the, the thing is, and that, that is really, really bugs me, these arms, I hate it when you get Transformers that they have arms that bend this way, and because of the way this tabs in, it's meant to be this way. Like, you can't, you can't rotate the wrist without moving this piece off to the side. What you can do is you can rotate the entire section and bend them like that. However, this part can't tab in on the side so it sticks out a little bit further. A tab there would have been perfect, so I can tab this in and rotate it around so we can actually hold his weapon properly. But yeah, so we can actually hold his weapon and actually use it as an offensive weapon rather than just sort of arm crunching at people. But yeah, I really, really hate it when they have these dumbass arms. Speaking of his arms and his articulation, the head can rotate left and right can kind of go 360 degrees but it's just really awkward to do the arms here can rotate 360 degrees bend in and out bend at the elbow and obviously you'd have to have it like that if you want the uh, the official transformation but yeah you can bend at the elbow no waist articulation you can bend in and out up here 360 degrees if you can get it that way it's just a little bit hampered you can bend at the, uh, the thigh here, bend at the knee and the feet pivot, but you can also sort of bow these a little bit if you want to get a little bit more posability out of him so we can pull off a couple more dynamic 
sort of poses. Just for a quick comparison in the robot mode, here he is next to the last night Scorn once again. This figure that Scorn here really does make me feel that we just we need a new Grimlock figure. The way Scorn's designed, he just he looks so much more accurate and there's just a lot more going on in terms of his engineering. Grimlock looks far too simple in terms of his transformation and his overall look. I just, I think we could really benefit from a new Grimlock mold rather than just a repainted Age of Extinction version because these Voyager class figures, these new molds have been incredible. A new Grimlock I think would be perfect. That is about all I've got for you on last night Grimlock. Overall, I think this is the definitive version of the uh, the character. So if you're after a, uh, a Grimlock from the movie verse, definitely get this one. The color scheme is just really, really accurate and it is painted very, very nicely. The mold has its own problems, a couple of QC issues, and just the fact that it's just a little bit too simple for a Voyager class figure. That's just for my taste at least. You know, do with that information what you will. He's not bad. Um, he looks pretty damn great on the shelf actually, but I just wish this guy just had a little bit more going on. That is it guys. Hope you enjoyed the review, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.